I greet everyone, especially the, the sisters with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to kindly invite everyone to stand up. We do this in reverence to the reading of the Word of the Lord, the book of Ex Exodus. Exodus Exodus 2 The Bible says the following And a man of the house of Levi went and took his wife a daughter of Levi so the woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw that he was a beautiful child, she hid him three months. The church may be seated. May God bless the explanation of his word. Our purpose here tonight is to speak a little bit about a, a biblical character called Jochebed. And who was Jochebed? Jochebed was a woman that the Bible tells, says, was the tribe of Levi. A woman that as that the women will realize she was a woman of faith a woman that believed trusted in God and, and especially the wonderful example uh, to be followed of a mother what is the scenery here Jochebed was living in. The Bible says that Joseph was already had, had already passed away, and all his brother, all that generation of Joseph had already passed away. And the Bible says that the children of Israel had flourished and had grown had grown greatly in number. They strengthened greatly, they multiplied greatly in such a way that the land of Egypt was filled with them. And the Bible says, the word described to us that there was a new king that was raised in Egypt that had not known the life of Joseph. And this new king, this new pharaoh, the Bible describes that he told his people that the people of Israel is great in number. You know something? More, they are more powerful than us. Let's use a wisdom regarding them so that they not multiply even further. And it, it may not happen that as the war comes they may they join the enemy and fight against us and take over the land so then what this did this king do the Bible tells that initially they placed upon them more taxes to afflict them with their load and the Bible says that they defied to Pharaoh big uh, cities. And I want to tell the sisters especially that the word says that the more they afflicted, the more they multiplied, the more they grew in a way that they were upset about the children of Israel. 
Pharaoh and his people were upset with the people of Israel. And the Bible says that the Egyptians, they turned them into slaves with hardships. And uh, they became slaves and they worked uh, every field of, of the land, every hard labor, everything with harshness, everything was done. But still, the people will grow and multiply. And now, the word of the Lord tell us, tells us that Pharaoh calls the women that were responsible for uh, they will take care of the birth of the children and the Bible speaks specifically to women, Sifra and Poa and gave to them um, a word as you are helping the birth of uh, Hebrew women and if you see that there is, it is a boy kill the boy but if it is a woman now let it be. And my brethren, the Bible tells us that these women, the women that will take care of the birth of the children, however, they feared, they feared the king of Israel and they didn't do according to what Pharaoh had determined. And it reminded me of a text of the Bible that is in the New Testament that says the following. It is more important to obey God than to obey men. Because when we obey men, we are greatly blessed by Him. And what happened? When the king realized that what he said was not being fulfilled, he called the women that had this job of, of helping the deliver of children. And he asked, why didn't you do this? And she, and they gave an answer. It was wise. He told Pharaoh, "It is because the, we, the Hebrew women, they are not like the Egyptian women, because they are smart. They have been birthed of the children before we went to them. And as the Bible says, God." blessed the women, the Egyptian women that helped, that were helping uh, birth, and the population grew even further, the Jewish population. And now Pharaoh, he directs now with his word to his own people, to the Egyptian. It says the following, Hebrew children, they are born of the Hebrew women. If he is a boy, show them on the river so they, they may die there. But the women uh, spare them. But if, if necessary, this story here, so we would come to this point to tell you, my sisters, the following. He was there upon the children of, of children of the Hebrew women, a judgment. And what was this judgment? It was a judgment of, of death. As well, I want to say to the women that it is upon this world a judgment of death. And the question I ask you, my sisters, is there is one only. Did Jochebed know, know about this judgment? Yes, you know. And she, when she conceived and had a child, a boy, as she knew of this judgment, what did she do? She did something that we need to do. She had, she made a, a decision. And her, her decision was to hide her boy for three months. The Bible says the following that as she saw that he was beautiful, she 
she hid him for three months. As she, if she was saying, I know the judgment of death is has been established by Pharaoh, by, by the king, but I will do everything I can to save my son. Yeah, I want to say, blessed be the name of the Lord. You may see who are here. There is a judgment of death that is upon this world. And we, and the women, they have to every day be reminded of this, this character of the Bible, so wonderful. And live this experience. The judgment has been established. The world is going from bad to worse. The wor world is in darkness, but you, following the example of Jochebed, you will fight on behalf of your child because you love your child. And bless be the name of the Lord. And the Bible says that as that came to a point where she could no longer hide the, the child. She made another decision. The Bible said that she took a, a, a little basket and, and insulated inside the, the basket. And we need to do this in order to protect our children and our home from a judgment of death. We need to plead for the, for the power of the blood of Jesus. We need to pray. Fasting. Now, I want to ask a question. How long has it been that you have not decided to fast on behalf of your son or daughter? Come early dawn, or on early dawn, you, you get up, you fold your knees, your mother, your servant, and you plead, and you pray, and the word guarantees that the, uh, the keepers of Israel, they never sleep, they protect Israel day and night. And she insulated the basket with all her care and placed here her son. And now I'm going to ask a question to the mothers that are here. Would you do that? She placed now in God all her trust. A, a boy, three months old, inside of a, a basket and insulated. And now, what did she do? She was going to release the boy on a river. Did she know what, what was the destiny of the boy? No, but she knew that God had the best for her son. He didn't have the words. And I want to really force the word here to say the following. My sisters, God doesn't have the words for us. God always has the best for us. Be God because God is love. And the word tells us that you women already know the story that as she placed the boy in that basket and placed the boy on the river, on the side of the river, and the sister of that boy was looking from afar and kept following the basket to see what was going to happen. And at that day, at that hour, I asked him, did Jochebed know that the daughter of Pharaoh came down to bathe on the river with her servants and they were walking by the side of the river and what happened she saw the basket and sent one of her helpers to rescue the basket and as she opened what did she see a boy Son of, a, son of a woman of faith. Son of whom? A woman who trusted God. And this is tonight the plea, the word 
I don't want to leave to you, my sisters, that you may be a servant of faith, that you may trust always in the, in the Lord, because the Lord is the one who will surprise you many times. Bless, bless be the name of the Lord. And as she opened the basket, she saw a boy, and the boy was crying, and she was taken away with compassion, and she said, this child, one of the Hebrew children, and she said to, so then the daughter of Pharaoh said, I'm going to ask one of the Hebrew women to help raise this boy. And who did she call? The mother of the boy. And she raised the boy whose name was Moses. With a lot of care. Because God had a plan to use that boy, boy later on to deliver his people from slavery to Pharaoh and she had the opportunity to raise the boy and another boy and another sister and the history describes that this story about this wonderful woman says that she taught her children to praises praising the king of Israel my sisters teach your children to praise the Lord. Teach your children to be at the feet of the Lord. Teach your children to hear the voice of the Lord. Bring your children to seek the Lord because in it will be the blessing for you, my sister and mother, and to those that are your children. May God bless each one of us. Let us stand up. From the sister, may glorify the name of the Lord now. I want to praise your name for another night and in your house for the privilege that we have of hearing your word, of learning more from the Lord, your teachings. We praise the Lord because you are privileged people, because we have you as our God, one that has given direction to our lives, that has worked in our behalf, has given victory to our hands, who has blessed our homes, our families, our children, Lord. We want to praise you, Lord, because truly you are you have you have taken care of us. We want to praise you for this word and these moments in your house. We praise you therefore in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for the sisters now. Those that desire want to kneel down. And we're going to pray. Lord, cover each one of your servants with the blood of Jesus. And that they may be strengthened in the Lord. And every day, may they live the experience of faith experience of trusting more and more on the Lord. Bless your, your daughters, bless their families and homes. Receive, Lord, the service and our supplication in the name of Jesus. And with wonderful grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit, be upon us, my brethren, now into the coming of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. When the service is over, I want to say peace of the Lord to everyone.